everyone and welcome back to Akshita's Recipes. Have you, as you've seen the title, today's recipe is a delicious sweet potato dumpling or kangachi neuri. So it's called neuri because you will see the design or the pattern is made like how we make our normal neuris. But this is made out of whole wheat flour, out of sweet potatoes, boiled sweet potatoes and a lovely stuffing. A very healthy recipe, no sugar, and you can eat this you know, with the, uh, as an evening snack with a hot cup of tea. So without much further ado, let's jump into the recipe and make this delicious kanga che neuri or sweet potato dumpling. So friends, let's begin with this beautiful dish. Now here I've taken a quarter kilo or 250 grams of sweet potato. Now you have to keep this in water for 15 minutes and using a scrubber, take off all the grime and the mud that's in it and wash it really well. This is very important. And then you're going to put it into two cups of water and cook it on one whistle on high in your pressure cooker or pressure pan and simmer for 10 minutes. Now they have come out of the cooker, let them cool completely. Don't try to handle them when they're hot. And then you're just going to peel off the peel and take off the top if it is open. And then you're just going to use a masher or a fork and just mash it down completely. You can also do it with your hands. Now this is full of fiber. That's why you can you know, see threads of this. So uh, just mash it up. And now you're going to add half a cup of whole wheat flour. Now you're going to knead this. You don't need to add any water because the moisture from this sweet potato will uh, you know, automatically help you to make a nice firm dough. So we're looking for a very firm dough. We don't want it to be very soft. So you can add a little more flour if you feel that your dough is very wet till you get this nice firm dough like this. And now I'm going to just drizzle a little bit of oil, say just a quarter teaspoon of oil and again knead it really nicely. And then we're going to put, cover it and keep it around, aside for about 10 minutes. So now let's prepare the filling. So on in a pan, I've taken one cup of freshly grated coconut. And I'm going to add three-fourths of a cup of grated joggery, jaggery or gourd or gourd. And I'm going to mix the two of them really, really well. So keep frying this till all of this jaggery starts to melt. Now I'm using regular jaggery. You can also use the dark jaggery, the palm jaggery or whatever jaggery or jaggery that you know generally use in your cooking. So now fry this really well and I'm going to just add one teaspoon of elaichi powder or cardamom powder. So I've taken about four to five big small you know, green elaichis, peel them and uh, pound them into a fine powder and again mix everything really nicely and now the mixture is ready we're just going to transfer it to a bowl and let it cool completely to room temperature now i'm going to dust my working surface with a little bit of whole wheat flour i'm going to take a small lime size ball of the dough and i'm going to roll it out to form a little large puri or a large circle Now I'm going to take about one and a half tablespoon of the filling and we're going to put it in the center of this puri shape. Bring it all together and then you're just going to fold one half over the other like this. Seal the edges. It's very important that you seal the edges so that the filling doesn't come out. And then you're just going to use a knife or I have this karanji or neori maker. I'm just going to cut off the excess. We're going to reuse that excess to make the rest of the neuris. And then you can just flatten it down with this pattern. It looks pretty as well as it gets sealed. So in this way, I'm going to prepare, uh, you know, as many neuris or karajis uh, I want at the moment. So this is how they look. You can keep them simple or you can decorate them like this. So in this way, you can make as many as you need at the moment or you can make all of it also. And uh, then you're just going to shallow fry this in some ghee or you can use oil, whatever your preference is. Uh, I wouldn't recommend deep frying this because then the entire taste will change and you know you won't get the lovely taste of the 
a sweet potato. So ideally, this is always shallow fried. You can also alternatively bake this in your oven. So I'm telling you how to do that at the end of the video. So you can watch it, uh, watch the video till the end. So you can get an idea of how to bake these rather than even shallow fry them. I'm just shallow frying them in a tablespoon of ghee. So, you know, it's not too much of oil. Just see that everything is nice and crispy on all sides. You know, we don't want any raw uh, whole wheat going into our tummies. So see that it's nicely fried. That's all on a low to medium heat. And here we have our beautiful sweet potato, neuris or karanjis. And they look so amazing and they taste really good. And they also, you know, they have whole wheat and everything. So let's just cut up one and see, you know, how nice they are done. So it's really crispy when I cut it. And the filling also is really, really delicious. And you don't have to feel guilty about this because it has jaggery and, uh, you know, it's really healthy. So I hope you try out this recipe, guys. So friends, our sweet potato dumplings or our kangachi neoris are all ready. So I've just opened up one and you can see the lovely filling. And I'm going to take a bite and tell you how it has turned out. Mmm. It's so amazing. It's nice and crunchy on the outside and the filling is to die for. Amazing. Mm. And also very healthy because we haven't done any deep frying. Alternatively, you can also bake this in an oven at uh, 180 degrees Celsius in a preheated oven. Just put it, put a little bit of ghee and keep it on 5 minutes on both sides till they're nice and toasted. So friends, if you like today's recipe, please do give this video a like. Go and check out all my other recipes. I have tons and tons of Goan recipes, Maharashtrian recipes, continental recipes, Chinese, you name it. Just go and check it out on my channel. And the easiest way to find me is just, uh, you know, put the recipe you're looking for and at the rate of Akshata's recipes and my recipes will come, become uh, up immediately. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you soon in my next video. Bye!